Hey, hey guys, welcome to episode five. We can't wait for you to meet Rachel today, an Aussie girl who's worked as an intensive care nurse for 10 years, who absolutely loved her job, but at the cost of her lifestyle and her health. Rachel talks about how she didn't really enjoy the shift work and often the stressful environment, which led her on her own personal health transformation journey. So today, Rachel is no longer a registered nurse. She is now a lifestyle entrepreneur and transformation specialist who works with PTs and fitness trainers and everyday individuals, empowering them to change the quality of their health and their lifestyle and has aligned herself with the network marketing industry. In today's episode, you'll hear all about her success with MLM and her journey to where she is today. She gives amazing advice to those who are hustling to get their business off the ground running and also gives great insight about the network marketing industry for those who aren't too familiar with it or want to learn a little bit more. Don't forget, guys, if you're loving our podcast, you can subscribe to our podcast channel on the iTunes store, search Babes Talking Business and click subscribe to get our regular fortnightly new episodes. Or alternatively, if you're a visual person, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Babes Talking Business, to watch us in action. You can visit our website at babestalkingbusiness.com or follow us on our Instagram for a daily dose of inspo at Babes Talking Business. Enjoy. I'm so excited for our listeners to hear from you. I know that you're going to drop some bombs. <laughs> I remember the first time I met you were at a networking event, actually. And I remember being like, you've just got this presence about you. Like, as soon as you're in a room, you're like, I'm here. <laughs> so I'd love for you, maybe for the people who are on the line, um, I know, we obviously know your story and we know a little bit about what that's looked like. And so maybe tell some people on the line where your business journey started for you. Yeah, awesome. Well, I just want to say welcome to every single person listening to this podcast, this blog, blog, whatever, you, wherever it's going, because <laughs> you've taken a massive step just to improve where you're at and to hear someone else's story. So I just hope to give you guys some words that's going to inspire you and that's going to really touch you and move you. So basically, I was a nurse. I'm 33, ladies. Um, 33 from Melbourne. <laughs> I was a nurse and I loved my job as a nurse. I was, you know, that was my dream to grow up and be a nurse. And I also had this dream to live an incredible life and be financially free and buy property and, you know, get married and have babies one day. And I kind of put, um, I worked really hard for those dreams and, and working as a nurse, I just got so exhausted um, trading our most valuable asset time for money. I couldn't work any more shifts. So I went out and worked on the oil rigs and the mines as a way to earn extra income and still be able to travel. Now it sounds really glamorous, doesn't it? You know, the mines, <laughs> lots of money, lots of travel, lots of guys. But can I tell you that it wasn't glamorous for too long. I started to miss my family, my friends. I, um, there is no amount of money that can make, you know, working in the red desert or out at sea for a month at time enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I went on a mission to improve my health and that was all I wanted to do. I'm like, if I'm going away for a month, I'm going to come back looking amazing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's how I found this system of products that I use. And I was really, really skeptical I had um, tried many different systems, many different ways to get healthy. Nothing had worked. I definitely wasn't looking for a business and I definitely wasn't looking for a career change or a way to earn income. I just wanted to get healthy. Um, I tried the products and they, and they worked. You just don't know how great your body's designed to feel. And when you're healthy, wow, light switches went on. So I wanted just to tell the, my friends, my family about it. And, and I did. And then I started to get paid and I was like, holy <laughs> heck, like I'm getting paid. Um, in the background guys, my, um, I'd invested in quite a lot of property at a really young age and the property prices were actually going down. My, my rents were going down, my financial stress and my debt was going up. And I was like, wow, if I could, if I could jump into this incredible business with these products that I love that are working so well for me that everybody loves and pay off that debt, then I could see that as a bridge to my dream. So I went researching, I went to events, I went and learned more about the products and the company, but then about network marketing in this industry. And I just loved everything about it. I loved that I didn't have to have a degree. I didn't have to have experience. I didn't, um, 
I could do it from anywhere in the world. And um, the company took all the risks. There's no stock or inventory. There's no, there's no sending anything to people. There's no boss. There's no rosters. You can imagine as a nurse, I used to work night shift. Like, and then I miss Christmases and birthdays. I wasn't allowed to go on annual leave holidays because my leave was not approved. And that used to break a young girl's heart. Trust me. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to throw myself fully in. And I did. And I just... I went to work and we'll explain all those things later as we get on, but I went to work and just built this incredible network of people. Um, some of them were just people who wanted to use the products and improve their health. But I also went and found people who wanted more out of life, who wanted more time, who wanted more freedom, who wanted more, um, more income, more choice. Like who doesn't want more time? Who doesn't want more money? Okay. To enjoy your life, whatever you're doing in life. I, I seriously have never met anybody who doesn't want more of those things. So I went and found those types of people and I worked really, really hard with them to help them as well have what I have. And now I live the lifestyle dream. So I retired from my nursing, um, took me about six months and um, I travel the world. I can work from anywhere. I have an amazing, incredibly large um, network of people who I work closely with and we, you know, we do the same. Um, but the thing that gets me the most is, is the impact, um, the impact one on people's health. Cause I love seeing people transform and to the impact that, um, this industry network marketing has had on people's lives. I've got people within my, um, within my network who young stay at home mom and her partner have just moved to the sunshine coast with their young family, because they can, they can live anywhere and other families, you know, just earning a couple of hundred dollars a week. And that has just changed their whole entire life. Young people traveling the world, working, like really working by the pool. Like they really do. It's not just an Instagram, an Instagram picture. Um, and, and for me now, like, I'm not stopping because I want more people to experience this. It, um, I really was tested at the start of the year and I'll share this with you guys. Um, you can dream for cars and houses and holidays and beautiful clothes and those kind of things. But, um, at the start of the year, my dad had a cardiac arrest and, um, he was really, really unwell. He's lucky to have made it and had to spend three weeks in intensive care. Now I was an intensive care nurse, so that was not a great experience, but not having to worry about finances. Not worrying about not worrying about who paid for the coffee or the car parking, yeah. not worrying about you know where my family were going to stay. If I was not where I am right now in this industry, the circumstances would have been so different. So there's things that you can plan for which are incredible, but there's some things that you would never plan for, and you just hope you've got a safety net. Mm -hmm. And I just know that there's so many people out there who don't have a safety net. If something happened to them, if something happened to their family you know, God forbid it doesn't. So, you know, that's also another thing that this, this company, this industry has done for me as well. And we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> I know that a lot of our listeners um, aren't familiar with this type of business model that you're in. Love this business model. We think it's so smart. A lot of people come across network marketing or multi-level marketing and they think that it's a scam or it's a pyramid scheme or I bet you there's so many listeners who are listening as soon as you said it like oh my god is that naughty word <laughs> she said the n word and um I think it's really important to sort of talk about the business model and the industry for those listeners who are like listening to this and going, oh my gosh, I'd never thought that people could make an income and, and create a lifestyle like you have from this type of industry. So let's go a little bit into that. Like, you know, what, what was your, I guess you said you were skeptic at the beginning. You mentioned that you were like, oh, I don't know about this, but tell us a little bit about that and how you felt and, and what changed your mind and what's happening. Yeah, so, so I was anti making money off my friends and my family. I used to give it back to them or to a charity, I, you know, because it just didn't feel right. But then I learned that I was actually getting paid for supporting them for, um, for, for coaching them for, because the company doesn't pay for advertising and marketing. They can afford to pay us. And the vision of um, so many leaders within this industry 
is to free people from financial pain. And if you look at like, look at the network, like look at the actual business model first. Okay. Anybody can do this from anywhere. All you need is to have that drive and that passion. You can do it in the cracks of your, the cracks of your time. So you don't have to go and quit your job. You don't have to risk anything. It is so minimal to get started and you get paid on the time and the energy that you put in. All right. And so what I, what I love about this business model is stay at home mums, uni students, young people may love their job already, but they need some, you know, they, and they're passionate about it, but they want more. They want more, more income. They want more time so that they can live their life of their dreams. You know, they can do it on the side. So, you know, we do call it a side hustle for some people, if that's what you want to call it. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what is there not to love about it? Let's have a really good think about that. And if you're like cringy and going, oh my God, it's network marketing, you know, it is not like the olden days with the people in the suits and the briefcase cases knocking at your door trying to sell you something or random strangers ringing you up. Okay, they're, they're, literally, they're literally sharing what they're doing and the experience that they're having. And the great incredible thing is it's not just a product. It's, it's a business. And I know some of you probably get scared about even talking about a business model because you're like, I'm not a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for a business. I'm already busy. Mm -hmm. But what about if you could just get paid for sharing something you, that you love and um, that other people love? Hello. You know, who wouldn't want to do that? We do this already on social media and we don't get paid for it. I referred millions of dollars worth of clients to my mortgage broker. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't get paid a cent. I referred I the, the lady that's doing my facial tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have so many people go to her for that facial and um, I'm not going to get paid for that. Yeah. So if I'm going to refer something I love, absolutely, let's get paid for it. And, you know, ladies, you can trust the people that you're talking to because because they care about you. You know, they, they want the best for you. They're, they're already there. They're using it. Could you really trust somebody in a store who doesn't have any um, relationship with you? You know, this is the way of the future. Everything is going to be, is going to be sold like this. Yeah. And the other thing is we've got this amazing thing called the internet. I love the internet. <laughs> I we met on the internet. We, we always love it. it. <laughs> so why wouldn't we use the internet? Like it's, it, it is social enterprise to, to an extent as well. And so let's, let's look at the world. Let's look at what's going on. Let's look at the trends and let's ride that wave. Absolutely. And just, you don't just have to live an incredible life. You can, you know, you can live an extra incredible life. Yeah. Okay. I love that. And I, it's something that I know that we talk to people a lot about at times. Obviously we work in that profession as well. And I think a lot of people who have that stigma or they don't understand and because they're like, how can people make the money that they do? How can people make six, seven figure income selling a product? And it's like you said, they don't understand that like big corporations like Safeway or Coles or Woolworths, the money that ends up like that extra bit at the end that you pay, that's not actually worth the product. It ends up in these big corporations pockets, but instead, we don't pay for advertising. We are advertising. We don't pay for a stop to put it in. So all that money that gets saved along the way when you're working in the network marketing industry and profession, it ends up in our pocket. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people who don't understand the kind of how the business structure works are kind of working out, well, where's that money coming from and how come you're getting paid to share something with me? And it's like, well, that's when you look at traditional business versus network marketing, that's kind of where that revenue is coming in. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's just so many costs that we just don't even know about that we're not even aware about. And so it brings it back. It, it's helping the people, you know, love and care about. It's helping you. Mm -hmm. um, people really need to get over making money from their friends and family. And I can hand on heart say this guys, cause that was me. You are helping them. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you could be changing their life and you know, like you just get comfortable, own it totally own it and then show them how to do the same. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And so I think we also have some listeners on the line who are a part of network marketing, just like so excited to hear from you. 
I'd love to know a little bit about your journey through, you know, MLM in your company. Like how long have you been in the industry for? Yeah. What did it look like in the beginning? And, you know, what does a day in the life of Rach look like when you're working on your business? Yeah, so let's just, we'll break it down because I'm, I'm going to forget all those things. <laughs> I, know, I just threw so many questions at so you. Let, so let's go to the first one. I've been with this company for four years. It was my first company. I had no intention of, of joining a company or changing careers or of a business and I had no experience. Guys, it's so, so important that you don't cut yourself out of the game before you've even started, you know, and you're going to hear these noises come in and be like, you know, I can't do it or I'm not good enough or I don't have what she has or, mm -hmm. um, you know, this comparison, you know, cut it out, stop, enough is enough. You are incredible, you are wonderful and you could do this. Everyone can do this all right, you've got to make a choice and then go for it. Find some people to help you and go. What was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> what did, like, how did it look like for you starting up the business? Like, I think oh, a lot of people oh my God. MLM I, get rich quick, but it's not. So mm -hmm. tell us about that journey for you. Are we being real and are we being raw and so authentic? Yeah, well, yeah, Give it to us how it is. <laughs> it was so messy. <laughs> told everybody and I just verbally vomited on everybody but guys what you need to understand is I was so passionate and so excited and I just I just held on to that right and I just told everyone I told my friends I told my family I told social media I told and, I, and so I told everyone and what happened was some people were like what is she on what is she doing <laughs> All right, okay and they were drawn to that so what, you need to be passionate. You need to be, um, and hold that, but don't, I did not wait to be, to learn everything, to be perfect. The best way to learn is to take action and keep moving forward and fall forward and fall forward. You know, you, it's great to listen to podcasts and read books, but the only way to learn is to take action and then you grow it. All right. And I started as worse than a beginner and I'm not even, you're a professional now, but I'm getting paid over seven figures. Like what the, mm. all right. So at the start I was so messy and I had no idea what I was doing, but I, there's a few keys. I didn't quit. I just kept going. All right. And I set some really big goals and I just ran for them. So like sim, like really simple goals. Like how many people was I going to talk to today? How many people was I, you know, was I um, going to follow up with? And, and things like that. And I found what I loved and what worked for me. And I got that better. And then I taught other people how to do the same thing. Cause you can't build a team by yourself. You have to go and show other people how to do it as well. And so many people said no to me. So many people said no, but guess what? Guess what they're all doing now four years later. They're ever crying and wishing they joined me at the start. Yeah. or they're all joining me now. Is it too late? Can we get started? I wish I'd started. Why? I, Cause everyone's watching. All right. Everyone's watching and you need to be really careful of your environment and you need to surround yourself with really incredible people, people that believe in you. They don't have to do what you're doing, but they need to believe in you and they need to encourage you and they need to support you. And if they don't, you know, don't take advice from broke, unhappy people. All right. Because um, there's a few things. A true, have you ever heard a truly successful, happy person put somebody else down? Never. So if you hear something that doesn't sit right for you, that you know is going to hurt you and hold you back, that's like poison, you just don't take it on. Just don't take it on. Just be like, um, I, I call it like Teflon. They can throw whatever they want at me, but it doesn't stick. You need to find that person that loves you and encourages you and you call them and you... You know, have a quick rant, vent, get it over, next. Don't worry about the nose, keep going. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Is there another question? Oh, we could have so many. I'd love to know, let's talk about the haters. Because I know so many people in MLM does, it gets a bad rap for people who aren't educated, there's a stigma around it. And I know for a lot of people that we work with at the start, it can be something that deters them. It can be something that stops them from taking action because of the people that don't support them. So did you have support getting started and um, how did you kind of navigate that? Yeah, I really, I touched on a lot of that stuff just then. Like if you are a person who's got a lot of haters or you're, you know, you're worried about that. Um, I, 
I don't even want to call them haters. I don't even want to give them that much attention because in my world, I love everybody. Okay. Even if they don't like me, I still love them. All right. You just got to bless them, love them. And when people are not being nice to you and they don't like, you know, they're a hundred percent going out of their way to make your life harder or to tell the world that, you know, they think you're crazy for doing what you're doing and bullying and so forth. Don't give it any attention. Don't give it any fire. There's a block button on Facebook for a reason, you know, just push block. You don't need to see them. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to get involved in that. You don't need to give it your energy guys. All right. So just seriously, today's the day that you draw the line and you step over it and you focus on people that want this, who support you and love you. Um, I had haters and it could have taken me out of the game. And thank God someone was beside me who, who picked me up and lifted me forward and kept moving. Um, and, you know, and now I do that for other people, but we just don't give them focus. All right, bless them. Like seriously, send them love and just be like, hey, like, you know, they'll feel it. They'll <laughs> totally feel it. They'll feel it. So bless them. Yeah. And concentrate on people that need this and want this. Um, we need to really work together as an industry to really change the industry face. This is so cool. This is the coolest profession ever. You get to work with incredible people. You get to be your own boss. You travel the world. You, you have all the things I mentioned at the start about um, unlimited earning potential. Um, you know, these companies... They love us so much. We're not like staff. We are like family and they just want to send us on free holidays and bless us with like free product and money and so much. And it's not like a workplace, like, you know, and so you really need, to, we need to show the world that this is an amazing industry and it can change people's lives. You know, the world is crying out for, for, kindness and love but more time more money so they can have a better life yeah all right and so it's up to us if you're already in the industry to go and show the world how cool this is all right and if you're not in the industry join it and make it cooler yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally and so i think um a lot of people and i definitely had this thought in my mind before i joined this type of industry that you know, the people who are doing really well and earning six, seven figures, their life just looks amazing. And, you know, they get to travel all the time and they're on these free, free trips. And I'd love for the listeners on the line to actually know what it takes to make, you know, a seven figure multi-level marketing business work. Like what type of work had to go into that? You know, what type of perseverance and, and grit, like what does work look like? You know, you're not just sitting by the pool 24 seven, it takes work, right? <laughs> when we talk about this pool thing, this beach thing, like I can't balance my laptop on my legs with coconut oil. Like, I, can't I, can't see the, I can't see the screen. I'm like, oh, first of all, problems. I tried to make it I'm not making work. Not working like, out. Let's not work by the pool. I can't do it. <laughs> but I, I've worked out how to work in the pool. You can put your, you can put your laptop on the edge and you can have the champagne beside it and you can take a quick photo, but let's get real. All right. Let's get real because you do need to work hard. All right. I'm going to talk about, maybe we'll, we'll look about what a day looks like for me now. Okay. Um, my life is amazing, but I live in an incredible apartment in an incredible, beautiful area in South Yarra, Melbourne, I do drive my dream car and I don't worry about money ever. I, you know, I don't, I don't need to worry about the cost of anything. I give, I give nearly my whole entire wage as a nurse a week to a charity a week. Okay. And there is no way I could do that. So it's not just earning more to go and buy better handbags. It's earn more to give more, but I live this amazing life. Okay but I do work for it and I can travel and I can go anywhere in the world as long as they've got good internet. And sometimes we do need to look at the time zones and make sure we're cool with that. Mm -hmm. But I, I can, like I can, before I used to have to request annual leave eight, eight months in advance as a nurse. I could never go anywhere on school holidays because all the other um, mums wanted school holidays off. And Christmas and birthdays, you had to work. 
night shift I had to work. Now I work my own hours. Um, I work completely, um, I completely work how I want to work. I drive myself. But what the thing is now with this, right, I still work. I still do two to four hours a day. When I started, I did long days. I worked so hard when I first started. I just, uh, you know, I got greedy. I got in the grip. And, but the, the, what I did then in that first six to 12 months built this incredible foundation. Okay. And now that foundation is so rock solid that I get paid every single week. So I sl then I slowed down to like a more reasonable pace and, and now it's, it's dreamy. I wake up every morning and I go to the gym because you need to move your body. I do. And then I have a meeting with my assistant and she um, is in the Philippines and she works four to five hours a day for me. And she's a lifesaver. She's the best. And then I work for a couple of hours. I connect with new people. I connect with team, um, check some social media. And then the afternoons is about having fun, getting out there and doing great stuff. Okay. Um, my dream is to have 10, 15 millionaires working under me. And then each, each week I'd have 15, you know, half an hour meeting with them and then they do the same, okay? Because it's all about impact. I want to impact hundreds of thousands of people's lives mm -hmm. from a health and wellness perspective, but also from a earning extra income perspective. It's not all, it, you know, it's not all rainbows and unicorns, mm -hmm. but compared to bedpans and rosters, Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know, Shani used to be a nurse too, so Shani can probably... Really? Uh, oh yeah, I was a nurse. Yeah, <laughs> I was a nurse for five years and I feel you, girl. For all the women, all the babes, all the babes listening to this, it doesn't matter where you've come from, anyone can do this. I've got successful hairdressers, beauty therapists, massage therapists, stay-at-home mums, corporates, nurses are phenomenal, sports people. Um, uni students like yeah. anyone can be successful you just there's a few keys personal development the whole way yeah the way we build the way we're building our networks now is changing you girls would know this how you did it six months ago 12 months ago is not working you've always got to change you've always got to adapt eric warray says the best network marketers are entrepreneurs because they adapt so yeah, we're always adapting and changing, but something that will um, something that will never change that I see as key is personal development. And I know some of you are like personal development, like what is that? <laughs> it's going and making yourself a better person every day, finding something. So like there's books, you can go and read some great books. You can listen to podcasts. You can listen to audio books. You can go to conferences and seminars. Um, and you need to, and you need to do this every day. All right. You need to do a little bit of something because the difference between being successful and not is personal development. hundred percent. We're massive believers in personal development as well. And I always talk about when people ask why it's important, mm -hmm. they say, especially in this industry though, like we're about relationships, we're about connecting with people. And it's really hard to love other people and connect with other people and understand other people when you don't understand yourself. And so I think yeah. that's really cool about personal development is that you're learning about yourself. You're learning your values. You're learning about what your mission is, what you stand for, what you don't stand for. Mm -hmm. So you can find that in other people and build some really strong, meaningful relationships, which is what network marketing is all about in the first place. I can tell you guys do personal development. Like I can just tell you, just glow it. Like it just, <laughs> it's a certain glow. Yeah. You got that you got that glow. glow. <laughs> you do. I'm like a PD junkie. Yeah. I just like, you know, if I'm not growing, you're dead. That's my. <laughs> if you're not growing, you're you're, yeah. you're expanding. If you're not expanding, you're contracting. So you're either doing one of two things. So. Yeah. Well, thing, people are always, this, this industry is quite funny as well. It's going to bring up the things that you, you need to work on. Yeah. You're going to see the areas of your life that you need to go and work on. And that's, that's, and that how you work on those things is personal development. So some really good books, leadership books, and um, you know, um, there's some great influences out there who are, personal development coaches and I'm a fan for Tony Robbins. I, he's, he is my key, key man and doing something. Absolutely.
I think as, as well, like something that I see in this industry is a lot of people who compare themselves, like they'll compare to some, themselves to someone who maybe have started in the industry at the same time as them, but that person maybe be going faster or whatever. And I always say like, you can't compare yourself to someone who potentially is investing time and money in their personal growth when you're not, because that's a huge difference between, you know, a successful and a not as successful person. I think that has a huge, huge impact on it. So I always say that to team, like, you know, how much money are you investing in yourself and your personal development? Like, are you going to seminars? Are you reading books? Are you listening to podcasts in the car? Are you listening to the radio? Like definitely it's, it's massive. It's just especially like what you were saying, this business brings out things that you deflect. It's like the best mirror, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's like, nah, I got that shit sorted. You're like, oh no, I don't. It's staring at me. <laughs> and I loved what you said before about, you know, like the haters, like bless them, love them. Like how many people can say, I love the people who don't support me, but it takes a lot of courage and love and work for someone to come and say, you know what? those people who judge me, I'm actually really grateful for them because they're helping me grow as a person. They're making me refine and, and define myself and be really strict with my core values. Like that's, that's why we need judgment. That's why we need haters, so to speak. So I love that. I love that about you. That was cool. <laughs> welcome you're well hey it took me some time I wasn't all <laughs> but how much lighter do you feel once you come across that in personal development it's like that Nelson Mandela quote it's like po resentment is like poison you selling poison I think it's going to hurt mm. your enemies it's like it's just a heavy feeling that's not going to affect those people as soon as you let it go you feel so much lighter and happier and it's like people can feel that and they do radiate towards that energy you're a magnet and yeah. you're going to right what you're putting out there yeah so if you're already in this industry and you're not attracting the kind of people that you want to attract my advice is to go write a list like you are husband shopping or <laughs> all right and go and write a list and then check in and just see are you being all of those things and if you're not that's where you start yeah. yeah. And, and gratitudes, guys. I watched you do a gratitude project. I think that inspired me to go and do it, but I just probably lasted five days. <laughs> um, and like, to be a hundred percent honest, like gratitude, just being grateful for where you are right now, who you're with, what your life looks like, you know, have a grateful heart and be grateful to be listening to this podcast. Be grateful that you girls have done this. Like, wow, I'm so grateful to be here with you. And I'm grateful for the people listening to this. And because if you're listening to this, you are the future of our industry. And you're the reason why we're here. We're the reason why we're here and why we're doing this. Because if uh, that's what excites me most, the people that haven't found us yet, who are looking for us, who want something different. That is what excites me. I got goosebumps. <laughs> what do you reckon, actually? What do you think's been um, your biggest lesson in your business journey in this industry? And even working when you're trying to invest in property as well. Like, what's been your biggest lesson on your entrepreneurial journey? So with the, with the property investing, that um, I really, I had to get over it. I had to get over it. I had to get out of my little cry pit and just keep going. And you just have this survivor in you and you just, you just go. Um, with this, with network marketing for me, I've gone on this massive journey. Um, I started off really, um, was very much just about, let's go, let's build this. Let's like, you know, there's lives to change. Let's, let's get out there. And now it's like, it's a bit slower it's really peace like there's a lot more peace there's a lot more calm we're still having the same amount of impact but we're coming from a different place so more vulnerability um more i feel now that people people really want to know they want the real they want the raw they want the you know the authentic truth about how you built this you know when i started people didn't care about how i did it they just wanted to know you know how how much income I was making or, but now people are like, all right, that's amazing, you know, but they want the story behind it. And so it's relationship. I think relationships with yourself. If you want to improve relationships with others, go and re improve the relationship with yourself. Your business is a, and your business is a direct reflection on your relationship with yourself as well. Um, 
And so this is for everybody, you know, just go to work on improving that. The self-love word gets thrown around a lot and it is so cool and just so hip and it drives me mad. Like, you know, I'm, it, it does like it's, you know, but it's so important that you just, you just love yourself. Even the bits that are bad, even the bits that, you know, you want to improve. There's a, a saying in my head at the moment, you know, just being so, so grateful and happy for where you are, but being excited about the future. You know, we, we need to just be present. We need to be grateful and happy where we are. It's amazing. Yeah. And um, it doesn't mean, it doesn't take away from what's coming and you can be excited about that as well. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Any questions that are burning inside you? I guess, like, I'd love to know, you know, obviously you've built a thriving and successful business and I love everything you're about. And I really do love for us to be, like, authentic and raw with these podcasts so people can listen to them and, and sort of be on the same level. Like, are there times that you feel like, you know, you've got moments of self-doubt or you feel like you have the crappy days or you've got days where you're just like, what am I doing? Like, do you still have those days? Yeah. Like last night, <laughs> I was, wait, listen to this. So last night I was on the phone to my lead, one of my most incredible leaders. He's my best friend and his wife was in bed and we were talking until 1am and he was so excited and I just wanted to go to sleep. But I was like, I needed to listen to him because he was so exciting. He's doing amazing. But this morning, I didn't want to wake up and get out of bed. I wanted to sleep in, but I still did it. And I don't do it for me. I do it for my team because I want my team and the people I'm meeting and working with to have the same freedom, to have the same joy, to have the same choice and opportunity. And they need me to show them how it's done. I cannot do the work for them, but I need to show up to be there with them, to support them, to guide them, to work with them until they fly. And then they can fly on their own. And then I go and find a whole new lot of people and I just do it again. All right. We just create this community and this culture, but my success is it's not, I have the most amazing team. The, the glory goes to them. They're phenomenal. I would not be here without them. Um, and you know, there was, there's no luck. I attracted the right people and they worked hard, you know, as well. And if I'm ever having a bad, a bad day, I just go and find some transformations and I just look at the people who are transforming and I'm just like filled up. I'm just like, wow, that person wants that amount of weight or that person's, you know, transform their whole life. Look at their energy. I'm like, and it, you know, I just get messages all day, every day. And it's just so fulfilling. And, you know, there's been wall kicking moments. There's um, when things don't go the way that you want them or the way that you've planned. And, you know, this is a really good one for, um, for so many people because it's really relevant right now to me. We, we grew really quickly at the start, like phenomenal. And it's really easy to like be like, I want to be like, over here, like all the way over here and have all this success. And like, I want to be like, you know, 10 stars. Okay. And, and I'm only six and like, why am I, you know, why am I not 10? And it's like, and for those listening, wondering what stars are, basically it's your pay increments, but it's like, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing amazing. The team is doing great. We need to be patient. We need to grow these incredible foundations and we need to keep building on them. And I liken it to like a tree, right? You plant the tree and the roots grow and you don't always see, you don't always see the fruit. You don't see, you don't see the tree for ages and that takes a while to get fruit. But if you plant that tree properly and you look after it and you, you know, you water it, you fertilize it, you keep the weeds away. What happens? That tree grows, grows, it gives you shade. It's there forever. And then comes this amazing fruit your business is going to be exactly the same as that. If the tree doesn't grow at the start, you don't just like stomp on it and (laughs) and stop and go find another paddock. (laughs) Like, you know, it's like you just don't. And so we, um, for me, it's just about being patient 
and honoring um, the people that I work with as well, because everybody's got different goals. Everybody's got different business goals. Everybody's got different personal goals and everybody's wired a little bit differently. And so for me, I'm a worker. I love, I'm a, I love to work like, and I love, like I'm, I'm a hustler, but I've got people that want to lay on the beach and do yoga and do their work from there. And then I, and then I've got heart people who are all like loving and sensitive and they just want to talk to me for an hour on the phone. And I'm like, um, I'm is this, <laughs> come on. And then I've got really, then I've got really, you know, soft and gentle, sensitive people. So I know each one of them. And, it, you know, um, ask yourself what kind of person you are. There's a colour code test online. Just Google it. Go see what colour you are. Mm-hmm. And then have a think of the key people in your life or in your business and work out what colour they are. And just having that awareness just really helps um, with how you, how you communicate with them. And the, so that's been, um, that's been massive for me as well. And, um, yeah. I'm just like soaking it all in. I'm like, I love having you on the line, Rach. Um, what do you think, what do you think's been like one of the best habits that you've cultivated throughout your business that you could, that's helped with your success? That maybe other people could apply, not even to multi-level marketing, but any entrepreneurs kind of tuning in. Is it something that they could apply to any kind of business? The first thing is, guys, you need to kick TV or Netflix. Australians on average watch 27 hours of TV a week. That's I know. Right. <laughs> I don't watch TV. Uh, yeah, because you look at the success you guys are having. So I, so I don't, um, so that's the first thing you guys need to do. That's the first habit. But um, I know you guys don't watch TV because you guys are all listening to this podcast. But <laughs> some really good habits that I would think, I would think straight away. Okay. And actually my friend was telling me this, um, yesterday, you know, he, he worked from seven till 12 every single night till this, he built this, um, you know, so get, get really, really committed, stay consistent and and go for it. Um, I think personal development, wherever you are in life, you know, you need to create that habit. I'm a Tony Robbins, um, YouTube priming every morning so many different morning routines out there you know like not just doing it but like a hundred percent playing full out with this business you don't just step in and make it like this little hobby Mm -hmm. you play full out it doesn't mean you give it a hundred percent of your time but the time you do give it you really give it a damn good go because it you know this this industry is so generous and it's so forgiving and it's so, um, it's so amazing. And you have the opportunity right now, if you're not in a company, to change the whole trajectory of your life. And if you are in a company, you are one, you know, you have got this opportunity as well. And so don't just put your toe in. Don't just treat it like a hobby. Like throw yourself fully in. You know, when... Um, when a leader says there's like an event or when, um, you know, work out what you've got to do to be successful, find someone who's already successful, link arms with them and go. And, um, you know, that's what I would be doing. Be realistic about how long it's going to take and, um, and the results, but don't quit. Like do not quit. That's that's like like, number one rule. Just don't quit. If you don't quit, you can never not be successful. going you can't quit but you've got to take action right (laughs) yeah yeah it's like it's like there's a like a water slide and you can't just go halfway down and stop and say hey i'm staying on this slide forever but i'm not going to move like you know we don't want that we want you moving but um yeah and the other thing is like life happens as well like life happens things happen and that's okay as well like it's you know it's so forgiving I love it. Thank you so much for jumping on and sharing all your truth bombs with us. Where for the people who are tuning in and listening, where can they find you? Because I know they're probably going to want more of you and your energy. (laughs) Yeah. 
um, come over to my social media. So my personal page, you just need to hit follow because I have maxed out my friends at 5,000. But send me a personal message and let me know that you've watched, you've listened to the podcast. I want to know what you loved. Um, and yeah, hit the follow. I've got a website being made at the moment, guys. It's probably another week or two away. But by the time this podcast is out, it will be up and running. And um, if you're an Instagrammer, just send me a DM. Like, and let's chat. I love chatting. I love talking to people all day. I'd love to hear your story. And I just want to know that you heard something, it's inspired you, and you know the action that you're going to take from that. And I'll give you a follow back. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rach. It's been amazing to have you on the line and soak up your yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. All right, ladies, if there's anything I can ever do for you or your listeners ever again, just reach out. I'm here for you. Take care. Bye. Bye.